I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. Seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone. I killed him myself. With my <laughs> Let him learn to stand up for himself. Yeah, How right. else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Artyom, 
Are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else, and the Order is here to defend it, because if not us, then who? You look fine to me, so get ready to go. Then we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom? Please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down there. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Eh, well, sadly, it's their job. Well, job or no job, if they keep doing that. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Donna, I told you a hundred times already. You must be back to <laughs> Job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. <coughs> <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? Ten years? We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture treatment. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters taking our unnecessary risks. What will we do if all these fighters can you know how close we are? To you. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're alright! You gave us a scare, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you're alright! Pardon me, right. gentlemen! Give way! This calls for a celebration! Artyom! A few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which, Alyosha, how are the nurses in the hospital, right, huh? guys, could you just stop crowding him? Brother? Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, Privet, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like <laughs> So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat Hold the last on, time. Hold on, Artyom. More 
heard nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. Why, yes. And there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Come on, replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick bay? All right, let's get moving. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all of these ruins? And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. should come back to the order. We'll move to Bolas. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. One down! 
We sure gave them hell. Help me get out there. Shit. Come up now. I got you. Did you hear that, Artyom? Something large, warm. At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or hear! Let's switch to radios! <gasps> what the? What a drum. Are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A train! A damn train on the surface! Thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole Metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. <laughs> <laughs>
Attention! The turntable is switching on! Straight to the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman! Human! How did you... Oh. oh my god! It's you she's been screaming about! Alive! You came for her! All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't trash though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Tanya, go tell the workers. Move crouched. Stay close to the wall. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yermak. So you can use your head after all. <laughs> Yermak, is that you? What are you doing? Come Get here me up and fix this. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Simon McCallish. There's a failure at the generators. You should see it. What? Yeah, I thought we need you to tell me what I should do. Let him fix this line here. You'll have to take him down. Can you do it quietly? You're vagabonds. What's with that mumbling? Go 
come through. Come on. This system supplies air for the command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. I will, of course, do what I can, but uh, I, I'm not much of a fighter, as you can guess. Good luck to you. It's sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich here, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, hey guys, be careful. What's going on? Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. <laughs> don't turn your flashlight on either. They 